In the previous video, I showed you how easy it is to start using your wrists and timing your feet with the movement of the wrists. As the wrists go in a figure of eight position from the right to the left, you step your right foot first and then your left foot. And then when you start the movement on your left side, you start with your left foot and then to the right foot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use that technique to open the rope and then finally jump through. So grab your rope and let's get started. Begin with the side swing to your right. The right hand is going to stay on top and the left hand stays as an anchor. We're going to cross over making a figure of eight to the left. And then the left hand stays on the left side and the right comes back in place. So we go right, figure of eight to the left, right opens, left stays in place. So as you're practicing this right side swing, left side swing and open, be sure that you're stepping your feet as well so that you are timing the side swings with your feet. So right, left, right. Right, left, right. Right, left, right. And once you've got the hand and the foot coordination, you should be ready to attempt hopping over the rope. To hop over the rope, we're going to side swing to each side. And when the rope opens, we're just going to hop over it. So right, left, hop. What we're doing here is we're building on the foundation that we've set in place. We're taking our side swing to the right, our side swing to the left, opening up the rope by keeping the left hand to the left and bringing the right back to the right, keeping the knees soft and then just a light hop. So we're not swinging our arms wildly and trying to leap across the rope. The rope is very thin and all we're trying to do is a little hop that happens as the rope is swinging because of the momentum generated by the wrists. Keep your head, neck and shoulders very relaxed as you are doing this move. The bulk of the movement comes from below the elbows, which is the forearms and the wrists, and the rest of the body is very, very neutral. Once you get comfortable doing a single hop over the rope, it's time to start adding multiple hops to your practice. So you can start with two hops, three hops, and then build up to maybe 10 or 20 hops. And remember to begin with a side swing and then hop. And if you mess up, just stop and start all over again. The wrists are doing a lot of work as you're jumping because they're constantly turning the rope. And don't be surprised if you get tired, but just keep at it and you will get better. Now that you know how to do the side swing and the jump through starting on the right, we're gonna do the same move starting on the left. When the side swing starts on the left side, the right hand is the anchor and the left is on top. Even as we cross over to the right side, the right hand stays in place and the left comes back in a figure of eight to open. So left, right, and open. Left, right, and open. Add your feet to this opening. So left, right, and open, left, right and open. So this time I'm showing you a different version. This time we're just stopping after the left right with our feet. So we are prepping for the jump through. So there's many ways of doing this. All I want from this exercise for you to get is that the feet move along with the rope just to time it. And the better that you get at timing the rope, the fewer errors you'll have while jumping. Now it's time to add a jump through once the rope opens up in front of you. So left, right, jump. Left, right, jump. And just like you did when you were starting the move on your right side, you want to get very comfortable doing the jump through on your left side. And then once you're comfortable, you can do multiple jumps. As you attempt multiple jumps when the rope opens, 
Remember to keep your posture upright, keep your head, neck and shoulders very relaxed. I practice jump rope every day and I mess up all the time. So don't be hard on yourself if you trip or you can't go over the rope. It's practice and timing and most of all it's about having fun as you're learning something new. And if you've made it to the end of this video and you found value in it, smash that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.